Hello guys, of Dimension here, and welcome back to Let's Play Rings of Power. Um, back in Cathedral now. Just want to make a quick stop in each of the guilds quickly. Have a bit of a uh, loose change, so I'll buy these two new Necromancer spells. Her, I think, is quite good. I can't remember if that's... Oh no, wait. No, no, don't mind, I'm thinking of something else. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just an advanced version of... Uh, Grays. Here we get Brand and Blow. Brand is okay. I think Blow is another push enemies around the screen, which can be useful, but it's a bit bit of a niche thing. Uh, Brand's just uh, improvement of Arrow, I think. And here, here we get Frenzy. Probably. Probably one of the most useful spells in the whole game up to a certain point, I'll say. Until you get into the crazy, crazy powerful spells, at least. Um, when we use that, we'll be set for life, pretty much. And lastly, we have Rock and Bolts here, which are okay. They're uh, I believe Bolts is another scatter spell. I've seen it been used by enemy conjurers before. Can't remember what it does. And Rock is throwing rocks, basically. Um, so that's all the guilds there. Oh! And I didn't mention, but you can probably guess. Oh, Slash leveled up. Um, relief, for more, relief that I got for Mortimer is uh, another healing spell, I'm fairly sure. So uh, the reason we're actually back around this area is to run around the corner of the cathedral and get into this hermit's house here. Um, he just wants to be left alone. Oh, he doesn't say anything important. Uh, you need to get this goblet. It's really randomly placed, but um, as far as I can remember, you do need that for the next part. Now, uh, we're going to be heading back to Division first of all. Uh, all the way down here. Okay, we're finally here. Uh, that seriously took me about 10 tries. Never travel up by boat without any uh, any water supplies because you just get intercepted by pirates constantly. So the place we want to go is... Uh, oh, just here. And here we are at this tiny little place, which is actually called uh, the Belmont Residence. So sounds like I'm getting shot at from. Oh! Okay, um, yeah, as we're here, there's one thing we can set up for quite a bit later. It'll be uh, quite a while till we actually do this quest. The uh, quest in question. But uh, over here we have Mr. B, the bandit leader. Raid his chests quickly. And uh, if you ask him about your quest, he will ask you to uh, head over to the town of Mesa and bring him any information that you find there, basically. Um, won't be heading to Mesa for a long, long time. In fact, that's probably one of the last places we'll be going, just because it's such a pain to get up there. But, um, yeah, our actual, our actual goal now is to head over here, I believe these two little towns here, which are actually quite significant. Um, so I'll wander down that way in just a moment, just going to take a little break, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so yeah, the place we need to go to, uh, just down here, it's on the sort of southern side of the desert. 
or southeast, I guess, if you go by this compass. Um. Oh. Ah, this. This is a uh, Mesa. And as you can see, there's a. Uh, no real way up to it. Yeah, um. It's on a high, like, sand thingy. The only way up there is by Dragonstone, as far as I know. Uh, fortunately, I actually. The only way you can actually buy Dragonstones, unless you find them randomly, is if you run into a random wandering merchant, which is all luck based. Uh, I did. Sold a Fanini, bought one of those, they're pretty expensive, but um, it's going to be worth it. It's better that than. Uh, better that than just wandering around, waiting for one to appear. Not really missing much. So yeah, here we have the Sun and Moon Temples. Moon Temple over there, Sun Temple over here. Uh, we're not going in either. The note actually says... The note we got from Bob. Uh, the place between both dark and bright. Which should be uh, just here. Oh! Now we look stupid, here. It's going to be the one with the stones, isn't it? There we are. Yeah, you want to go bang in between the two temples and you'll find this place. It's pretty cryptic, but one of the more clever rings, I'd say. Show me that with which you began. So you show him the sorcerer's symbol, which uh, you get at the start of the game from the thing, and feather levels up, and upper key and Alexi. And when you give him the item he wants, he opens the door down there, which is otherwise locked. Now, there is a trick you can do here. Every time you speak to him, he'll ask you the same thing. I won't abuse this trick, because you do... Oh no, I didn't realise it took gold. Never mind. Um, it's only 25. Basically, uh, you can just keep showing him the item again and again, and you'll keep getting experience for it. And you can pretty much grind to the highest level here if you wanted to. I don't particularly want to do that. I normally do that, but yeah, the symbol of despair, I guess, is is it the whip or the skull? I'll go with the skull. Ow! It's the whip. No, it's not the ruby. Oh, this isn't going well. There we are. The whip, of course, you get from... Uh... Oh, Mortimer leveled up. And I'll be here again. Can probably use fren Frenzy by now. Um... Yeah, the whip you get from the Black Priest in Chaos after you give the bingo ticket to the, um, the guy in the cell. Uh, tough as armour, found inside, bring me protection that is not hide. Oh, Skull. Alexi, you're going to get tons of levels up just from this part alone. They can abuse, a, abuse this trick, that trick and uh, have no problems whatsoever. And can you see that down there? That would be the first ring. Kind of weird. But here we have a vessel of fluid containment, and vessel is spelt wrong, I think. Never noticed that before. That's where we need the goblet. Found in the hermit's thingamajig. Um, Buck slash and obliquey again, my gosh. Uh, oh, yeah, the skull. That was in the. Uh, was that in the cemetery thing over by Fen. I can't remember. And this last guy wants something which came from Nexus. I guess the ruby. Yes. And feather one more time. Shame there aren't more of these because we're 
we've probably like doubled in level for some people now. Um, there we are. We got thought. The first ring. There we go. That's a uh, the first of the sorcerer rings. There. The other two are a bit more difficult. I mean, if you know the uh, if you know what's coming here, the only really obscure ones, I suppose, the ob only obscure items to get would be the skull, and that's assuming you just ignore, you know, that graveyard completely. And I guess the goblet's kind of hard to find. The other three, the other three, if you go by uh, where the game's sending you, you can't really miss them. So yeah, that would be uh, that would be the ring of thought all done. Our next goal, um, I don't really want to set up for perfection and just not do it. That's the only thing. Otherwise, I'd go into these two temples. Um, I guess next we'll do the ring of division. Uh, we'll go and beat the witch hideous for that woman in Sunrise Sunset, which means heading back to Mind. Uh, where is Mind? Somewhere up here. Yeah, there we are. Um, so I'll head over there and uh, see you in just a moment. Okay, we're back in Mind now. Uh, the place we want to go is uh, just all the way down here, I think. just want to make your way down here as far as possible. Um, I think you might... I'm not sure if you need a boat or not. Oh! I'm starting to think there might be some sort of level barriers going on, because um, I'm starting to run into even stronger things than normal now, since... Uh, Got all those levels up from doing the Ring of Thought. Uh, I'm starting to think we might need a boat after all. Doesn't look like there's any other way down. Um, how do we get a boat round there? Oh wait! Can we go over there? I think the drop might be too large. Yeah. Now how do we get a boat round here? Um won't be too easy. Okay, I suspect we wanna basically follow this round. Going under the bridges here. Let's give that a go. Okay, so uh, just uh, just around here, maybe. Don't think it's too far. Oh, hoping those little gaps here are big enough for a boat to go through. They're not. No. Um, don't want to get too low on time, probably cutting it quite fine by now. Ah, oh, these stupid islands are impossible to navigate. Um... Ah, oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to say we're probably a bit too low on time to carry on by now. Um, so next time I'll sort of figure out where I'm going and uh, hopefully get to the witch's place before time runs out again, fingers crossed. 
So uh, I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching.